Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. It's been way too long since my last video, but today is the day and I'm gonna share my video of the Fujifilm XS20. I'm gonna look into it, I'm gonna look if it's a great camera for you, a camera you should consider to buy. I photographed with it several months now, so I have an opinion now on this camera, a long-term opinion, and I'm gonna take you with me on this video. Let's start it right now. So let's kick things off with the X20's ergonomics. Fujifilm has crafted a camera that is really solid. It feels good in the hands while it's not weather sealed. And the deep grip is a standout feature of this camera. You know, it feels really good in the hand. It stands out and you can hold the camera well and you don't get tired too quickly when you're holding it. And that's a really good ergonomic design feature of this camera. Unlike Fujifilm's retro style, this camera goes more for a modern look. You know, it goes away from the X-T series, which is more retro looking. It gives you this retro vibe. You know, it's still a little bit of it, but it, I think it's different than the X-T series and it feels more modern and compact. The inclusion of a flippy screen is more than welcome for vloggers and for, you know, people who like to photograph from tricky angles and you know, with the flip screen, you can do all that. Plus, let's not forget about the intuitive dials and the built-in flash, which comes really handy for, you know, moments where it's dark and you need some flash, but you don't have some flash with you. But then you put out this camera and it has a built-in flash, which is, it's a flash you can work with and get some light and get some cool shots. Let's move on to the autofocus and what can I say? It's fast, it's accurate, it's on point. The camera has a new processor which does really well and comes in really handy for this camera because it's way quicker than for example the X-T4 and you can also track animals, insects, cars and planes like the stuff from the X-T5 or the X-H2. It's not as good as the X-H2S but I hear that there will be a firmware update which also improves the autofocus of this camera. So it will be a way better then than now. Now it's really good and it's really solid and it focuses on everything I need. The only matter when it has problems is when you track multiple subjects in one shot and then it can't decide which subject it should choose. It's the same problem it has with the X-T5, but I think in the next firmware update, maybe this will get better and they will get rid of that problem too. Let's talk about what matters most and that is image quality. And let me tell you this, this camera shine has a 26 megapixel sensor and like the X-T4 for example, or all the older Fujifilm cameras. And as we know, this sensor is really good. It has beautiful colors. It has a great dynamic range and you can take just beautiful images with it. And the files are not too big because it's the 26 megapixels. You can post it on Instagram, then you won't see a difference between 40 or 26, only if you print it out or zoom in on your computer. But if you don't do that, you will be more than happy with the 26 megapixel sensor. And what can I say? These images are beautiful from this camera. When it comes to video, the XS20 also does not disappoint. It's really good when, you know, filming scenes like this, for example, a vlogging scene or you know, I've seen like where you film a movie with it. The colors are vibrant and true to life and they give you a professional touch to your video. Filmmakers will also appreciate the inclusion of the F-Log2 profile, which gives you more you know, room to edit, more room for dynamic range. It's a really cool profile, which gives you great colors, great image quality. But here's the best thing about this camera, which is filming an open gate, which is really fantastic and comes in really handy in situations where you want to film also for mobile content. So you can crop in way more and you know, it gives you the 6.2K resolution and this just looks fantastic. And you know, the video quality of this camera is insane for the package, you know, for the size of it, which is so small and still you get like cinematic shots which you can put in a cinema, you know. <laughs> I truly believe in that. And this is really cool. And as every Fujifilm camera, you know, it has this charm of the Fujifilm camera. It brings you fun and you 
want to take out this camera and shoot with it. And with the film simulations, it has every film simulation as except the Reala A simulation, but I think they will add that in the next firmware update. And I'm really looking forward to it. But then you will be really happy with this camera. It has everything you need and you can use the Fujifilm app to transfer pictures. And for example, I use the Fujifilm app to as a remote control so I can have a microphone on top and still have a remote control, but because of you cannot put in those two things at the same time into the camera. So I thought at first, oh no, that's really not good for me. But then I tried to, tried out this Fujifilm app and it works really cool. It's really stable and it works when I push on the button and then the video starts and also when I push it again, it ends and that really comes in handy. By the way, I filmed the scene with the XS20 so you can see how it looks, uh, how, it lo how it looks in this kind of scenario, how the autofocus works, but it also depends on the lens, of course. So, so you have an impression and can make a view for yourself. So in conclusion, the XS20 is a camera which punches well above its price point, which is at 1300 euros, which is really a good price, a good value that you get for your money. You get all those video features, you get all this, you get this fantastic sensor. And whether you're a photographer, a videographer, a hybrid shooter, you will be happy with this camera. It's small, it's compact, it's really powerful. But I think if design is a top priority for you, I think you will tend more to the XT series because I find the design of those cameras more appealing and also the tilt screen. I love more for photography but besides that if you don't care about that you will be really happy with this camera as so you more than enough the camera has also image stabilization which is really cool and really practical for video and also for photography and that's really a good point on this camera also in let me say in addition to the missing weather sealing i were i shot with this camera in snow and rain and it wasn't a problem it works just fine as just as fine as in the beginning so don't worry too much about that you know don't throw it into the water or stuff like that then it will maybe break but not you know in slight weather conditions like slight snow or slight rain or stuff like that don't worry about that so that was the review of the camera i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you didn't thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for support for more videos like this and see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.